Hey, what's poppin' guys, goddesses, kings, queens, what's goes on YouTube? I'm about to bring you the word of the day for December 2nd. I have already set with my team. I have already pre-shuffled your cards. Let's talk. Let's see what your affirmations is for today. Talk to me, spirit. What messages do you have for the overall energy for the YouTubers for December 2nd, 2020? First card that came out, I am curious. You're curious because you're just now waking up. You're curious about because you're wondering the things you're hearing, is it really real? Are you really truly hearing it or you think you're going crazy? The things that you see in the corner of your eyes, is it really what you're seeing? These shadow people, is it really shadow people? Are they going to hurt me? You're curious because you're waking up, beautifuls. You're waking up. I am ready. You waking up. You're curious because you are ready. You need to accept your spiritual journey. You need to accept who you are. These ancestors, these gods and goddesses, these deities that chose you, these spirit guides, these guardian angels, everyone that chose you, they've been with you with every past lifetime. They was with you when you was born. They're going to be with you when you transition. And if you reincarnate back, they're going to be with you, right? over again i am lovable yes you are because why you love yourself and your pure love and your pure consciousness know who you are let's get into some chakra love let's see what the chakras have to say you are responsible for your own journey no one has a journey like you no one has spiritual teams like you everyone is unique so it's time to embrace your uniqueness and love everything about your spiritual journey. Every day you grow stronger and stronger and higher and higher. And it's amazing about what you learn and what you teach and what you see, how powerful you are and what you're capable of doing. Can I get some um, chakra love? Talk to me, spirits. You got to have that determination. If anything, you got to have it. If no one else has it, you got to have it. The first card is meditation. Meditation is where you're going to really build a relationship with your spiritual team. You have to look at it as that they're your business partner. They're your partner. You tell them everything, 50-50. They're there for you. you there for them. You do for them. They do for you. They're there for you. You have to feed them. If you give them like bread or a donut or even if you don't give them food, give them coffee and water. Give them a cigar. You have to do stuff for them because you want them to do stuff for you. Meditate. Get to know them. And ask them to manifest themselves to you or show you in your mind's eye they will that. You have to be flexible with them. The same way that you with your husband, with your mom and dad, with your co-workers, how you business partners with them, you have to do the same thing. They love you. They respect you. They want you to love them and respect them. I am present. Know that you are present. When you meditating, just imagine where you want to go. Imagine you walking in the garden and then you see all these beautiful butterflies. You have to go into your sacred space and know that God is with you and he will join you. Don't be afraid if you feel like a cold breeze, like your window is open. That's because the spirits are coming around you. Sometimes that's God walking past you and he gives you a brief or cold air to let you know that he's with you. Know who you are. He keeps saying you need to know who you are. You're from royalty. So you really need to know who you are. Let's get into the tarot. 
Heavenly Father, help me with this reading today. I call upon all my powerful team. What messages do you have? Speak through me, show me clearly. Can I get three cards? One. Can I get two more cards? If you want them to know on December 2nd, 2020. Two, three. Oh, it is what it is. You have four cards. The star cards. A miracle is going to happen. The scar, the tar, the star card is saying hope, faith, blessings. Keep it up. Spirit want God wants you to know that when you take your hand and you put it on your heart and you hear that beeping, beat, go. That's a blessing. That's saying there's hope for another day. Continue. Just because you're having a bad day, there's a lesson in it. Turn it around and see the blessing in that. To know that he is with you and he's trying to help you with your humbleness. He's trying to help you with your patience. He's trying to help you to love. Why? Because you came back on this earth to help heal people. So you have to heal yourself to properly to heal others. The sun always shines on you. It never sets. The sun is God. The sun is Ra. So it shines on you and give you that healing power, gives you that downloads and everything. Stop looking down. There's nothing to look down on. You know what your feet look like. Always keep your face up like you are queen and a king and know you from royalty and you need to know where you're going. God is also saying y'all have healing hands. Anything you touch, you can heal. Anything you touch, you can grow. Anything you touch will be blessed. They show me the Midas. Anything he touched, he turned to gold. So whatever you want, you have to believe it and ask and speak it. He said, oh, ye so little faith. Where is your faith? You lost faith in God and you lost faith in yourself because why things are not popping off like you want to. It's not going to happen like that. It's something in your life that's causing delays like or something on the other side that's causing delays. You have to see there's another side to the story. Just say, okay, it's just not my time yet. I'm going to continue to work on me and do what I have to do. You have to take your mind off of it. When you pray and you manifest or you do any type of ritual with a candle, you can't just keep focusing on it. You have to let it grow. It takes a long time for a tree to grow. It takes a long time for a baby to grow. An elephant carries a baby a year before the little baby comes out. You have to understand God is not going to rush things for you, nor will your spiritual team. Some of y'all are manifesting love, but you know what? You haven't healed from the last several relationships. You don't want to deal with you. Sometimes you're the toxic person and you need to work on that. So when you do get another relationship, it won't it will last. It won't go haywire because you won't be punt, pointing the finger. Because sometimes it's not them, it's you. You have the lover's card. Once again, they showing me the heart. That's where love is. Some of y'all have a lot of hurt. Y'all been molested. Y'all been beat. Y'all have a lot of hurt. Y'all have to release that so y'all can higher vibrate on a higher level. Y'all need to start loving you. You need to love your spiritual team. Also, you need to fall in love with God. You need to become one with God because you are his son and daughter. That's why you are God and goddess. You need to fall in love with yourself. You need to fall in love with your spiritual team. It's a union. Falling in love with yourself is a union. Once you found that love and you keep that hope and that faith alive, things are going to happen. You're going to be in balance with yourself. Then you can have anything you want, the Midas of gold. 
the Midas of gold, anything. But you have to vibrate on that frequency. Soon as y'all do something, I see a lot of y'all, soon as y'all burn a candle or a love candle, three days later, you're like, well, I don't got no money. Okay, did you just find a dollar or you just found a nickel on the, on the ground or something like that? That's money. That's money. Be grateful for that. Like I said, when y'all ask for something, y'all have to go in detail. Don't sit up there and say, I want a million dollars by tomorrow. Unless you hit the lottery, it's not going to happen. And be careful when you ask for money. Say no cause harm to none because you don't want nobody to die to get that money. Every money's not good money. Sometimes y'all rushing stuff and it's that's not how it happened. You rush it, you're going to miss the blessing in it and the lesson. Can I get clarifications? Thank you. Can I get clarification of the star card? The card that popped up under the star card is the nine of cups. What I tell you, you have love coming. He got a picnic waiting for you. There's a horse ready for you, for y'all to hard, go horseback riding. He has a bouquet of flowers. He's waiting on you. She's waiting on you. You give up too easily. Just because he's not knocking on your door, just because it's been like a whole year and you don't have that mate, maybe something's seriously wrong with that person and they need a year or longer to heal. You asking for perfection. You asking for something and God don't want to give you no F-ups, no fuck-ups. Okay, it's not always about you. Y'all always in a hurry. That's why y'all relationships don't last as it is because y'all always in a hurry. You know that big mom and that grandmother said, wait till God give him or her to you and it will last. Y'all don't want to wait. Y'all very impatient. That's why they teaching you patience and humble, humbleness. You want this one under the star or? Yes. The temperance card. This is the second temperance card. Temperance card means balance. Having that balance. You want him and her? Well, you got to work on you. You got to make sure you're properly ready for this love. You got to make sure you don't have anything that's going to trigger it. You got to make you got to make sure you release all the past so you can have this beautiful relationship. You have to have the balance of the night and the dark, the yin and the yang. You have to accept the good and the bad, the ugly and the pretty. Can I get clarification of the lover's card? Under the lover card, you have the nine of wands. You're waiting patiently because you got your books in order. You got everything in order. You released this baby daddy. You released this mama, my baby mama. You released this molester. You released this domestic violence. You released all these karmatic relationships. You released it. You spiritually detox your uterus. So you can get rid of this toxic stuff. Men, you can detox your penis too. Okay? You're releasing all that so you can accept this new beginning in 2021 because it's fresh start. You don't want to bring nothing 2020 into the next year. You don't. You stand enough for what you believe in. Can I get clarification of the temperance card? <laughs> Under the temperance card, this first temperance card, you have the wheel. A cycle is ending so you can embrace this new beginning. Once again, you see her. She's balancing. That's what I'm saying. You have to get everything in order. You have to. You have to accept the things that you don't like about yourself. Also, you got to accept the things you do like about yourself. You have to. Because when you go into this relationship, people are going to be jealous of you. People are going to say, why he or she got you? What do they see in you? It doesn't matter. You change. You vibrating higher and you leaving those people behind because you letting them go. Remember, everyone is not happy for you. Everyone is around you. Some people are around you to see your downfall. 14, 14. The magician card. Four cups under the magician card because why? You keep watching the damn pot boil. You just put it on. You just planted the seed three seconds ago, and then you go back five hours later. It doesn't happen like this. This is not the movies. It takes time. You have to take your mind off of it and do something. Read a book. Play with your kids. Teach your kids how to cook, wash, or do laundry. 
uh, walk your dog. I don't know. Do something motivational, inspirational. You have to take your mind off things. Under the bottom of the deck, you got to let your heart heal. Sometimes it's not a man or woman that broke your heart. Sometimes it's family members. Sometimes it's your children. Sometimes it's co-workers. Sometimes you broke your own heart because you're too hard on yourself. Spirit is saying, take this time to heal because before you know it, it's going to be January. So you have all this time to wait on it. You have all this time. This pandemic happened for y'all to heal, for people to see the truth, for things to happen. This earth has to heal because there's a lot of evil ugliness in this world. And you need to take the time to heal so you can have a prosperous 2021. Under the tempers and the night, of course, you have a seven ones. You're leaping for freaking joy because you're following step by step. You're getting to know your spiritual team. Question. Okay, you're spiritual, right? And you manifest in somebody else's spiritual, right? You're going to have to show it because you know what? Maybe you there to activate him and help him and you can't because you're not focusing on your spirituality. You see what I'm saying? He or she wants someone that's equal. Y'all have to be spiritually yoked. So y'all have a lot to do. Can I get clarification of the nine of wands? You're very fiery. You're very passionate. But it starts with you. Some of y'all just lazy and just want your team and God to do everything for you. And that's not how it works. Under the lovers, the nine of ones, you have the page of coins. That's a message. Money's coming. Y'all asking for money? That's a message that money is coming because you know what? You got all your books in order. You got yourself in order. You let go a lot of people. You working on you. You looking for a better future. You, you getting closer to your spiritual team. You starting to love you. You starting to love you. You starting to love you. And that's when you're going to get this demigod and demigoddess. You letting it all go. Under the wheel and the tempers, you have the justice card. Because you're <clears throat> you like, damn, finally. You finally starting to see it because you're cleaning up your house. Your temple is dirty. You stink. You smell like low vibrational people. Don't nobody want to be around no funky person. Come on. You don't even want to be about it. So these high vibrational people, they got their eggs in the basket or books in order, whatever that word is. They waiting on you. You're the slow poke because you want everybody to do it for you. No, your journey is your journey. Can I get a clarification of the four of cups? Things take time to manifest. Things takes time to grow. You have the queen of wands. You the queen, baby. <laughs> you're fiery. You're determined. You, you're not a quitter. There's no failure. And I'm talking about y'all men too. Y'all owning it. Y'all are the king and queen. Y'all owning it. Y'all walking the walk. Y'all talking the talk. Y'all owning it. Y'all finally letting that pot boil without you looking over it. You finally letting that tree grow. You finally doing the damn things. Finally doing the damn thing. God didn't build the world in seven days. It took him six days. He had the power to do it in one day, but he didn't. Because he is a perfectionist. He likes it that way. So therefore, if you asking and praying for something, you asking God, he's going to do it in his time. Not in your time. Time does not exist. One day is a thousand years to God. You know, it's not going to happen when you want it. So you might as well stop thinking about it. That's why I said, take your mind off of it. If you do a self-love or you do something money, let time do what it do. Can I get clarification? You're, you're going to be basking in everything. Like I said, take your mind off of it and let the universe do what it do. That's the nine of swords. It's keeping you up at night because you're like, why is this not happening? Why is this not happening? That's why I said, let it do what it do. Go turn up. Go do something and understand it's growing. You know, you got the page of swords. You're going to have new downloads coming. Everything is coming to you. Justice is twice in this. You're going to get justice because you planted so many good seeds. Also, if this is a legal matter, if you owe child support, Spirit is saying you're going to get that child support. Whatever your legal matter is, if you get sued, some type of lawsuit, it's going to work in your favor. 
is going to work in your favor. It's going to work in your favor. I keep repeating that because they keep repeating it to me. To me, If it's a lawsuit or something, it's going to work in your favor. Quit thinking about it. Some of y'all keep thinking about it. You got the lover's cars twice. They said fucking love you. You give your love and want to fix everybody else except you. You don't love yourself. You don't want to fix yourself. People are stealing from you because you're so naive. You won't take the damn blind off your face. People are stealing your patience, your love, your joy, your money, your energy. They're stealing everything. And you need to start calling it back. He's coming in. He and she is coming in. The Knight of Swords is coming in swiftly. And you have to be on your game to be on his or her game. Trust me. Because they manifesting someone that can stand up for themselves and be spiritual. So if you manifesting that, you need to be starting on yourself. Let's end this. What cards do you have for them? Peace. Peace. Where's the dang gun card at? You have to let it do what it do. You have to get out of your head. Let go and let God. Let them do what they do. That's what they do. And he's doing it in a divine timing because he wants it to work. 21-21. You have to have peace. I am being of love and I release all negative energy. You have to be at peace. You have to do, if you manifest in something, let it go. Think of something else. Just say, yeah, I'm a guy. That this is when I meet him or her. I'm going to wear this outfit. I'm going to get my hair done. I'm going to get my nails done. Whatever. This is what I'm going to say when I meet him or her. You have to let it go. Okay? If I can get up to 200 followers, I'm going to bless two lovely souls with a Akashi Records reading. I do international. I do WhatsApp. I do just text me. Um, and book on my website. I'm going to put it down in the description below. I also make products. I also coach. I mentor. I'm a healer. Y'all be blessed. Namaste.